day four, that was a big he, one. he yes. says no more Guantanamo. But then, actually, there are still some preservations yeah, of, of state secrets. And sure. you've ch you've seen a similar <laughs> thing around the war on terror. We won't call it that anymore. Instead, we'll call it this overseas contingency something or other. I mean, Rick, going back to you, comparisons uh, to FDR, do you think prosecute. that's fair? No. Uh, I mean, for one thing, uh, FDR came into office uh, two years after this depression right. had deepened. Yeah. Uh, Obama comes in just as it's happening. It's kind of, it's, it's to the point where it's, where Republicans dare to argue that it's his fault. Yeah. Now, they couldn't make that argument against FDR in 1932 when everybody had been in the dump since 1929. There's a bigger safety net now. You know, you don't need all that. You don't, you, 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 the kind of relief that the, that the 100 days represented, um, it can be much milder now. And remember, there was a second New Deal. You know, the thing about Obama that's, that I find it, it, it's so extraordinary is, is what, as Miles quoting Bob Kuttner, uh, he's, a, he's a chess player thinking ahead. And I don't think he's just a guy like Bill Clinton who wants everybody to love him. And so he's trying to please you know, the Republicans. I think he, I wants to, he wants to, he, for him, I think the, the bipartisanship is a tactic. It's, he doesn't, he, what he cares about is being seen as magnanimous and oh. bipartisan. And, if, and then the Republicans essentially play into his hands by Miles, behaving like idiots. I mean, he doesn't want to be the bad guy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think there's, I just, I think there's style, like and, style and substance. And the substance is revealing itself over time. The style is clear from the very beginning. And he, does, right. he doesn't have a confrontational style. He's not a, on the John Edwards uh, uh, you know, uh, mode. But I think that, so he does act as if he wants everybody to like him, but I think if you look at what the agenda is that has been laid out, it is a very, very large-scale um, social investment uh, agenda, which will make our country look very different. Can he get it? Is he, does he have a bottom line on these things? These are all things that we're going to see over time. I think the auto industry uh, issues, I think he's saying, you know, we're, we're going to, you, if you don't do it, we're going to let you fail. I think there's, I think there's some steel in that spine that, that is going to show over time.